I want you to imagine, just for a second, that you're a mathematician. A mathematician who loves numbers, specifically irrational numbers. Numbers that can't be written as a fraction. You like to mix, match, and combine these numbers to make new numbers and look for patterns. Something like this. An irrational number raised to the power of another irrational number. And this might beg a few questions. What does this number look like? Is it irrational? Is it ever rational? That sounds like a pretty hard question to answer. And if you look at a few examples, you would probably guess that there's no way that this could ever happen. Moreover, how would you even ever go about answering this question? Maybe you would start with some irrational numbers you already know, like pi or e. But those numbers might get a little clunky to work with. What about something irrational, but easier to work with algebraically? Something that would lend itself to these exponents. How about square root of 2? Can you think of an irrational number to place in the exponent of square root of 2? How about square root of 2 again? This might be a little tough to calculate the value of, but logically, one of two things are true about this number. Either it's rational, or it's irrational. And if it's rational, we're done. The problem is solved, we don't need to worry about it. If it's irrational, well, now we have a new irrational number to work with. We can start our problem over by asking, is square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2 to the power of any other irrational number ever a rational number? So again, we need to pick an irrational number to place in the exponent. How about square root of 2 again? And this time, something very nice is happening. Using properties of exponents, this is the same as square root of 2 to the power of root 2 times root 2, which is 2 in the exponent. And so our number, square root of 2, is squared, which is 2, and rational. So without actually knowing the value of this wild number, either it's rational and we win, or raising it to the power of square root of 2 makes it rational and we win. One way or another, we've answered our question that an irrational number raised to the power of another can be rational. Also, YouTube really thinks you'll like this video next. I'll see you in that one.